I always feel that the offset formula doesn't really get the appreciation that it deserves from Excel users. When people talk about advanced Excel techniques, they might talk about VLOOKUP, which seems to get a disproportionate amount of attention. I'm not sure why. Uh, pivot tables, maybe some coding ideas, but they never talk about the offset formula. And maybe that's because from the name of the formula, offset, we can't really understand what it does. If you compare to VLOOKUP, then the name of the formula describes what it does. It, it look, looks up things from a database. But offsets, uh, the meaning is much more difficult to get to grips with. But let me offer a bit of an explanation. Uh, offset is to do with position control. Offset means to take an anchor point and then to move away from it. So offset gives us this idea of position control. Why is that so important in Excel? Well, Excel gives us a kind of framework to working. It gives us a number of sheets in a workbook. It gives us a number of cells in a sheet. And how, we good, how good we are at Excel is to a great extent, I think, determined by how well we can control position within the sheets and position within the workbook. And offset allows us to do, to do that. But there's more than that. Offset is a really important coding concept as well. Uh, position control is so important in coding. So if we get to know the formula, we're gonna be more comfortable with the offset command in Visual Basic 2. So for all those reasons, I think offset deserves more love than it gets. And I hope this series inspires you to give some love to the formula. So what are we gonna look at? The first application, very simple application, just withdrawing, uh, retrieving some data from a table. Second application, more interesting, we're gonna harness the unique capabilities of the offset formula to dynamically sum a range of cells. Really neat application. Finally, we're gonna combine offsets with a chart to create what I call a dynamic chart, which is another really cool feature that you can use in your spreadsheets. I'll see you in the first video.